the first resolution passed by the 23rd Congress of CPIM has been calling for a nationwide movement against the continuous hike in the petrol and diesel prices that has been taking place since the election results came. We have in the resolution discussed mainly three points. One is the deregulation of the oil sector. It was started by a UPA government. Now it has been expanded to cover diesel also. And now thinking of even privatizing oil PSEs. What has the impact of this deregulation? The price of petrol since 1991 has increased by 11 fold and diesel by 25 times, while international price of crude oil has increased only by four times. So that is a scale of price increase in petroleum products that have taken place in the last three decades. Second, the BJP government now has made it into a fiscal strategy to squeeze the people and give uh, concessions to the corporates. Um, when the deregulation was brought in, um, the statement was that when the crude oil prices rise, the price of retail prices may also in tandem rise. But when the crude oil price comes down, they will also come down. Now, UBJP chained all this. They have been intervening in the price setting process to ensure the denial of the benefits of decline in the international price of crude oil to the people at large. The petrol taxes have been increased by 3.5 times and diesel taxes by nine times. Never in the history of this nation has there been such a drastic increase in the tax rate on any product in India. And as a result, the tax collection has increased from 0.75 lakh crores of rupees in 2014-15 when BJP came to power to 3.5 lakh crores of rupees in the current year. And um, if you take as a ratio of the same, the total revenue of the government, revenue from petrol has increased, share increased from 5.5% to 12.4%. Now, central government is trying to blame the state governments. State government has not contributed to uh, the present price peril that is taking place. And no state government had increased its taxes. This is entirely due to the, um, the policies of central government. And not only that, they have been manipulating the tax structure in favor of cessors and special duties, which are not in the divisible pool to be shared with the state governments. So the state governments have been deprived of legitimate share on this. And this increase in the fuel price is leading to general price increase and um, putting an um, insufferable uh, burden on the common people. And therefore, this is the limit. Enough is enough. I think uh, it's important to have a nationwide movement against it, and that's why the 23rd Congress of CPIM has called in this first resolution itself for starting a nationwide movement against the policies of the uh, fuel policies of the state uh, central government.